Hello everyone and welcome to week two, day three of our science lessons. Just a reminder that spring break is starting on Friday and is going to go through next week. You will be returning back on the 7th. Make sure that you come back to school on the 7th. And when I say come back to school, I mean back on the computers because we are starting learning again on the 7th. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So today we're actually going to review some of the questions from the exit ticket yesterday that you all did. Um, you guys overall did pretty well. There was one question that was a little difficult for you all that we're going to spend some extra time on. Um, but yeah, we're going to review three problems. So let's jump into it. Oh, also, random, oh, well, not random side note, but side note, I don't have the fancy board today. I've got some good old-fashioned paper. Uh, so bear with me as I use the paper, friends. Okay. So looking at our first example. So in the first exit ticket, we were looking uh, at sickle, or not the first exit ticket, but the first Punnett square problem, we were looking at sickle cell anemia. Now, sickle cell anemia is a disease. Well, actually, let me go back here. Sickle cell anemia is a disease that causes the shape of people's blood cells uh, to be a different shape. Um, and unfortunately, that causes a lot of problems in their bodies. Uh, it can be very dangerous and it can lead uh, to some serious health complications. So sickle cell anemia is, so let's write that down, sickle cell anemia. Now, sickle cell anemia is a recessive disease. Now, if it's a recessive disease, that means in order for a person to have it, they need to have two little letters. So since this is sickle cell anemia, we're going to use the letter A. So in order for someone to have sickle cell anemia, they need to have two little A's. All right. Now, this part's really important here. And this was the area where a lot of people got confused. So in order to have the actual disease, you have to have two little A's. If a person has a big A and a little A, they carry the disease, but they don't have it because the big A blocks the little A. So this person, they do have the disease, but this person does not. They carry it, but they don't have it. And that's a big difference to note here. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the first uh Punnett square problem. So in our first Punnett square problem, we were looking at a person who does not have sickle cell anemia and they don't carry it either. And we were going to cross them with a person who does have sickle cell anemia. So we have a person who doesn't have it and they don't carry it and then someone who does have it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Punnett square. So if we look here at the Punnett square, we can see that when a person who doesn't have sickle cell anemia and doesn't carry it, when they have a baby with a person who does have sickle cell anemia, all of their kids, no matter what, will always have the same genotype. And that genotype is a big A, a little a. Now, big A, little a, that genotype there, that means they don't have sickle cell anemia, so no sickle cell anemia, but they are a carrier. So they do carry sickle cell anemia, but they don't have it, okay? So again, they carry it, but they don't actually have sickle cell anemia. All right, let's look at the next example. I'm gonna grab a new piece of paper. So in our next example, we were looking at a person who does have sickle cell anemia, little a, little a, and they're gonna have a baby with someone who is a carrier. Now, before I write this down, think in your head. What is the genotype 
or what are the two alleles, the two letters that a person has if they carry sickle cell anemia but they don't have it? That would be big A, little a, they're heterozygous. So let's see what their babies would look like. So if we make our Punnett square, I have my little a, little a. So that's the parent who has sickle cell anemia. And then we have the parent who carries it, but doesn't actually have the disease. So they carry it around, but their health is completely normal because they don't actually have the disease. They're not sick with it. Now, if these two people had babies, the question was, what is the chance that their baby will have sickle cell anemia? Well, let's see here. We have this first genotype up here, which is big A, little a. And then we have this genotype right here, which is little a, little a. This is how many times out of four? One, two out of four. And here we have one, two out of four. So the question was, what's the chance that their baby will have sickle cell? Well, this person, they don't have it. These two babies don't have it, but they carry it, but they don't have it. Here, they have two little A's, which means they do have sickle cell anemia. So in this case, it would be two out of four. This was the correct answer. Now, a lot of people said four out of four because they were like, oh, all four of these babies have little A's. You're right, they do all have little A's, but that doesn't mean they all have the disease. Only these two have the disease because they have two little A's. And these two babies, the big A blocks the little A. The big A blocks the little A. And so they carry the disease, but they don't have it. All right, and let's look at the last example. So the last example was a person who doesn't have sickle cell anemia, and they're not a carrier either. And they're going to have a baby with someone who is a carrier. So they have big A, little a. Now let's see what their Punnett square would look like. So we have big A, big A. We have big A, little a. Drop the big A's. Carry over. Now looking at this Punnett square here, friends, we see that there are two out of four that are big A, big A. And we see one, two out of four that are big A, little a. Now the question was, what is the chance that their baby will carry the recessive allele? So what is the chance that their baby will have the little a? Not sickle cell anemia, they just carry the sickle cell disease in their, in their genes, but they don't have the disease, they just carry it. Well... Do these two have a little a? Do they carry the disease? No, they don't. Do these two carry the disease? Yep, they do. So your answer for this one was also two out of four. All right, friends, I hope that made sense. Your exit ticket for tonight, I'm gonna give you a few more practice problems to work on. Uh, that way we really understand our Punnett squares. And then tomorrow we'll go ahead and review those problems and then we will be done with our Punnett squares. And then after that, you guys will have spring break and then I'll see you after spring break for some new stuff that we're gonna focus on. All right, friends, I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to do your exit ticket. Please, please, please. That's a part of your grade. And if you don't do it, your grade is going to go way down. And for some of you, if you don't do any of your work, there's a chance that you might not make it onto the next grade. So ooh, make sure you're doing your work. All right, friends. Bye. Have a great day.